Because as it stands now, the president-elect of this country is His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi. The one illegally declared by ANEC cannot be given power come May 29. And that is why we are calling on President Muhammad Buhari to constitute an interim government to hand over power to, so that that interim government can superintend over any of the litigations. Oh, my people, no be smart, you know. Hey, hey. They say for May 20, uh, for May 29, say Buhari no go hand over power for Tinubu. Say enough is enough. It be like that. Scott, no one hear him. They won't take action with their hands, my people. This is when we say everybody don't they intervene. Let me say, hey, you don't have to know because as you see, so I know, say me, don't they backyard. The one when we say that they talk so, my people, then they let us understand, say, for me, 29, nothing like say, Tinubu wants to die for that seat for Asoroko. Like, if they let us understand, say, for this May 29, so nothing like, eh, uh, Shetiba and Tinubu, he said because they must redo that election again, oh, hey, hey, my people, while I don't fool everywhere, while I don't fool everywhere, my people, my people go like, make go here. Make all a good use on a year, ten year. Make all a see what they have to say. This one will not be smart in a game, no. To, to create a smooth sale of the presidential litigations ahead. The battle to save Nigeria is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. What actually transpired wasn't an election. What happened was a miscarriage of electoral justice. All we see flying around over the conventional and social media is an affront on our democracy. The APC administration has succeeded in plunging this country into a political aberration. Before the international community, Nigeria is now seen as a laughing stock. We are seizing this opportunity to call on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to disband and call for a total overhaul of the entire electoral body called Independent National Electoral Commission, INE, under the supervision of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. They have performed woefully. It has, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu has succeeded in debasing that institution. There is no longer credibility. We are asking him to throw in the towel or face the Nigerian people. Secondly, as an addendum to that, we are also calling on the INEC chairman. Last week, when we had our World Press Conference, we gave, him 40, we gave them 48 hours to allow our lawyers access. As a matter of that, they only allowed our lawyers access to two irrelevant states to, to inspect the materials. The key states that we are hoping to use to obtain the election, they have persistently and consistently refused um, our lawyers. We are giving them 24 hours from now. 24 hours. If not, they shall meet the Nigerian people, occupy the entire INEC offices in this country. Secondly, we are also using this opportunity to address the spokesperson of the PCC, Bayo Onenuga, his incendiary statements and comments in trying to divide Nigerians along ethnic lines and religious lines. This was the same thing that happened in Rwanda in 1994 when Hutus began to divide using divisive statements, incendiary statements, inflammatory statements on the Tutsi, calling them crocoches, and that led to a genocide. A genocide that lasted for 11, for, for over 100 days, between April 17th to July 15th, 1994, that killed over 800,000 Tutsi. We don't want that in Nigeria. We are calling upon him to resend his words that are divisive, Nigerians are equal in any part of the country, and they are, they are, in fact, Nigerians are supposed to live anywhere without the fear of tribalism. Thirdly, 
security agencies are complicit of all that transpired during the gubernatorial election. We are calling for a total overhaul of the security agency, being led by the Inspector General of Police. By law, his tenure is expired. He's not, so, he's not supposed to remain there. We don't know on what law they are operating in this country. Lastly, we are seizing this opportunity to call on the current government for an interim government to be put in place to enable effective and smooth judicial adjudication on the presidential election. My people na the video na on a new watch for this so on a see what you apple for inside the video. All right, my people, I go like to end the video for you. Make let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make you subscribe so that you don't go miss any latest just way I upload. On a bye bye till I come on a way next time. Bye guys, that's my next video. Bye guys.